Hello guys, it's me Allison. Welcome to my weekly meltdowns coverage of The Bachelor, Ben Higgins, episode six. Yeah. All I gotta say is, come at me, bro. So for starters, like I said last week, Olivia did not get the daggum boot. That whole conversation between Ben and Olivia was pointless. He didn't get to the nuts of the problem at all. It just ended up with her being the loner victim. Oh, I just like to sit in my room and read, you know, stalk you on social media and do smart things. But that's not my favorite part. My favorite part is when she came back to sit in the inner circle of all the women and they're all like, what's wrong? What's happening? Oh, that is so typical. All you bitches freaking ratted on her. And the minute that she comes back, you're all like, well, what's wrong? Are you okay? Come on now, ladies. Olivia might be crazy, batshit nuts, but she can put one and one together and get more than a half, okay? Speaking of batshit nuts, I don't, I'm sorry. I don't know what's happening right now. With that being said, we're off to the Bahamas! So tonight, we have three dates. We have the one-on-one -on -one date, the group date, and the two-on-one -on -one date. I can't tell you how much I love the two-on-one -on -one date because one of them bitches is going home and it's gonna be great. It's gonna be amazing. So why Ben and Kayla are on their one-on-one -on -one date fishing, one of these chicks is like having a epic meltdown. I just want him to go out with me. I mean, we live in the same city and we live in the same state too. And I live like 10 minutes away and and we could have met at a bar and not here. And I'm not, I look like a fool. Yeah. I think we all agree. You look like a fool. Pull your big girl panties up and be patient and see what happens. Stop looking like a hot mess on national television. You are on The Bachelor. Meanwhile, Kayla's explaining that she knows she's in love because she feels understood. You just confused everyone with your stupid shenanigans of I'm going to hurt you and shit. What? So we're on a group date. And we're swimming with pigs. This just proves my point that nobody gives a fuck about the group date. I didn't. I thought last week was bad enough. They're swimming with pigs. They're feeding pigs in the water. You're with pigs. Dude, I'd be so pissed. I'd be like, fuck this. Fuck you, Peter Brady. I'm not getting in the water with some pigs. I don't care how cute they are. I'm not getting in the water with pigs. Do you understand? Jesus. And they're feeding them wieners. They're feeding them wieners and they're walking around waving the wieners around. I can't watch this show anymore. I, I got, I need a minute. I need a minute. <sighs> Quite honestly, when they first spotted a pig and said there's a pig in the water, my first reaction was I thought Olivia was on the two on one date. Okay, one more thing and I'm done. So, Ben is floored that this date is a failure. You know, how do you date a bunch of women at the same time and keep them happy? You don't take them to the Bahamas and force them to swim with pigs. Okay? And if there's one thing that you can count on every week in this house, is the never-ending, backstabbing, and uh, under the bus throwing.
perfect example. Crybaby Leia goes in and tells Ben, Lauren B's fake, blah, blah, blah. Lauren B comes in and he confronts her about it. And she has a meltdown about it. And Leia comes in the room all, what's up, guys? What happened? And they're like, yeah, someone, just somebody, hmm, just told Ben that Lauren B is fake. You wouldn't have to know anything about that, would you? No. No, her name never came out of my mouth. I never said anything about her. No, no, nothing. Nothing at all, guys. You know, I have no idea. Mm -mm. So crybaby Leia decides to go up to Ben's room and ambush him and talk about how I just, I don't want to talk bad about, I don't want to talk bad about anybody, but Lauren sucks. But I don't want to sit here and talk about other people in the house, other, you know, other than the fact that Lauren B straight up sucks. So she got sent home, which I'm glad because karma is a boomerang. And let me tell you something, when you do nasty shit like that, it's going to bite you on the dairy air. Mark my words. What goes around comes around every single time. So the two-on-one date is going great. Olivia's talking about herself and drops the L-bomb on Ben. And poor Emily and her hair trying to talk to him with just that mess going on and just telling him how much she wants to be there. You got one talking about herself and how confident and intimidating she is to all the other bitches. And then you got the other girl with all her hair in her face talking about, I deserve to be here. I want to be here. I need to be here. And just like that, people, Olivia is gone. I absolutely love how Ben walked Olivia down the daggum beach with the rose. And this bitch is thinking the whole time, I'm getting the rose. I'm getting the rose. And he's like, no, I can't reciprocate your feelings. And he walks over to Emily and gives her the rose. And freaking Olivia is sitting there watching this whole thing go on. It's fucking great. It's goddamn epic. I love it. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it's even worse. She's got to watch him get on the boat and leave. Oh, my God. Now the rose ceremony, the original Lauren got sent home. I don't really care because I don't really remember her. That's how much of an impact she had on me on the show. Overall, great episode. Never ending craziness per usual. Speaking of never ending craziness, why don't you like and share my weekly meltdown on Facebook and on YouTube and Go on over to Instagram and follow me at the.memphis.darling.com. I'm also on Twitter at Summers, S-O-M-M-E-R-S, 1977. So, thank you for watching. I promise next week I won't wear a turtleneck, and I'll see you all then.